Good afternoon and welcome to the H10 Costa Radecki Palace Hotel. Now for once, I'm not taking a sneaky peek inside because, well, we're doing what's called a day pass. Now a lot of the H10 hotels and a lot of hotels um, around Tenerife and some of the Canary Islands offer something called a day pass, where you can use all the facilities, have the food, have the drink, use the pool uh, for the day. Hence the word day pass. And that is what we're doing today. We're here for a day. We're here for a good time and not a long time. And we're gonna spend the day in this beautiful H10 four-star hotel in Costa Radecki. It's called the H10 Costa Radecki Palace. I'll tell you what, it sounds posh, doesn't it? So come on, join Mr. Travelon and the family and let's go and have some fun in this beautiful hotel. Come on. So I was really excited for this and I've been looking forward to it all week because this is the first ever day pass we've done in a hotel and for it to be a H10 and in Costa Radecki, well, I'll tell you what, I could not wait. Mrs. Travel on as well, well, she was smiling from ear to ear and she was just ready to get checked in and ready to start a day at the H10. So let's have a little look around. Let's start with the pools. What can I say? They're big, they're blue, they're beautiful, and they're so relaxing as well. This is one of the main pools where the pool bar is, but you also had an infinity pool. And let's face it, if you're on a day pass or you're stopping at this amazing hotel, the pool is where you're gonna spend a lot of your time. And this one looks out over to that beautiful sea. Just look at the views of Costa Radecki in Tenerife. Absolutely stunning. In this area as well was a little beach bar. This was a really cute place. A little tiny beach hut right down the bottom and again available with your day pass and if you're stopping here all inclusive. It was a really cool place to just come and chill, grab yourself a cocktail and just watch the world go by. Fabulous. This is the main buffet restaurant and of course you're going to see what we had to eat in here so make sure to stay tuned. But there was also a teppanaki restaurant as well. Now this is only open on the evenings but it was open so I thought I'd take a little sneaky peek inside and look at it. It's one of them places where they do all the show cooking. I tell you what, I'm going to have to come back and try this. And I'll tell you another thing, watch to the end of this video because I am going to show you a room. Believe it or not, I got to see a room. Anyway, let's go. Mr. Travelon, he's always working for you lot, isn't he? I told them lot, I said, you go and have a little look around, get your bearings, and, uh, and I'll join you in a bit. I'm gonna have a little look around. And now, I'm completely lost and can't find them. So, uh, let's go see where they are. Probably eating and drinking something. Mark my words. I can either look around the pool area or head straight to the pool bar. Because I know for a fact they're gonna be in here stuff in their faces <laughs> and why not eh why not if they've got the bands ah i was completely correct ah here you are here you are taking advantage are you alfie Have your coffee. <laughs> you've got your coffee wow that food looks amazing i'm gonna grab some i think right then so here we are in the pool bar of the h10 costa decke oh, i tell you why it's beautiful these lot have already eaten. Didn't wait for me, did they, while I was off working? But, well, it's all sort of menu. They've got a little counter up there that looks like it's sort of self-service with sort of onion rings, pizzas, and bits and bobs like that. And I thought I could just delve in, but he was like, no, take a seat, order, give me the menu. And I tell you what, they're, for a pool bar, wow, I don't think you need anything else. You've got absolutely everything here. You've got onion rings, you've got chicken fingers, you've got uh, pizza, there's burgers, you can have salad. And if you're vegetarian, you can have a vegetarian poke bowl, whatever one of them is. <laughs> a little bit too posh for me to travel on, that is. You've got a couscous bowl with chicken, salmon with wasabi and mayo. I mean, the list is endless. And that's included on your all-inclusive day pass as well. I'm gonna dive in here and just get a little selection so I can show you more or less what the food's like. I'm starving. 
I was honestly really impressed with the pool bar because the staff were just running around making sure everybody was served. I tell you what, it was service with a smile. They were fantastic and they were really hard. I've never seen a pool bar like it. Like I said, usually you help yourself, don't you? Not this time. They bring it right to your table. And for pool bar food, I'm going to say it once. I'm going to say it again. Look at the presentation. I think this is possibly the best pool bar food on an all-inclusive I have seen, especially for a four-star. Right, so I've ordered just a little sample from the menu, just so you can see what the sort of quality is like and what it looks like. And look at the presentation, everything. I mean, this is not the typical sort of all-inclusive band hotel where you just go up and grab free for haul. You order it, they bring it to you. We've got some chicken. We've got some onion rings. Look at that, beautiful. And, well, had to get some chips as well. I haven't ordered too much because obviously we've got lunch soon <laughs> and that's gonna be an all-inclusive buffet. So I just wanted to show you the food. So let's get stuck in. Let's try some chicken fingers first with a beautiful sort of mustard mayonnaise. Wow, that is super fresh. Right then, onto the onion rings. Again, beautifully presented with a little barbecue sauce as well. And again, this is all on your pass, your day pass, all inclusive. Ideal, if you're spending a day in a, in a decky or you want to see this area, and you want to spend a full day, get a day pass here, spend most of it around here. It's open from 10 till six, um, so you get all day. And then you can sort of explore the area, come back, have something to eat and drink, do a little bit more exploring, sit around the pool and sunbathe, literally do what you want, ideal. So that was absolutely delicious. As pool bar food goes, well, it was top draw for me. Uh, really easy as well, sit down, staff came over, took the order, went off. I mean, they're working really hard, so the service here is second to none, and the food is great. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit in even more at lunchtime, but you've got this pool bar open all day long, and you can have as much as you want with your pass, with your drinks and everything. I think well worth doing for a day. So we went off to sit around the pool. Now, if you've got kids with you, there is a big kids pool with a slide and there's little bits of entertainment as well around the hotel that the kids will really enjoy. But of course, mine are too big for that. One's flexing all the time and one is just on a mobile phone 24 hours a day. Mrs. Travel on, well, she's happy as long as she's got a drink in her hand. So we sat around the pool and well, I got pushed in. Little Alfie, God bless him. I tell you what, I could have killed him. I was freezing. The pool is salt water, it's not heated, but once you're in, well, you're in. And if Mr. Travelon can get in, with the help of Alfie, well, <laughs> anyone can. Right, because he pushed me in, I made him get in with me. Uh, it's not too bad, is it? No. It is cold, but once you're in, you're in, and the sun is coming out as well. Um, and they say that when you sit around a salt water pool, you actually tan a little bit quicker than the chlorine one. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Well, after drying off, I couldn't sit still. You know me, I have to keep on the go. So I went and had a look around the hotel further. And I tell you what, there's so many things that you can do here. And again, a lot of this is available on your day pass. Now, there is a spa where you can get beauty treatments. They're not available, but if you want to pamper yourself, you can. But what is available down here? Well, there's a gym, which I doubt anybody on a day pass is going to use. But if you're staying here and you want to feel fit and healthy, you can do. But there's also in this area a heated pool and you can go and have yourself a little swim in there. I should have started there, shouldn't I? Anyway, I headed straight upstairs to the beautiful reception because up here is the tranquility place. And you know me, I like a bit of peace and quiet. Up here, you've got the piano bar. And guess what? You can use your all-inclusive up here as well. And it's not the cheap stuff. It's the proper drinks. And look at the place. It is absolutely stunning. Every type of drink on offer for you to enjoy. So if you just want a little bit of peace and quiet and get out the sun, well, you can come up and the staff, again, serve you with a smile, will serve you whatever you want. These two were happy to grab themselves a drink, especially because it was all included. And of course, Mrs. Travelon, she grabbed herself a mojito. I tell you what, she is taking this too far. Well, you know, I usually go for a posh water, don't I? But I reckon the water here might be just too posh for Mr. Travelon. But I'm absolutely exhausted walking around this hotel. It's absolutely huge. There's so much to see and do. 
So I've grabbed a seat in, well, the little piano bar just off reception. And I'm gonna sit here. I've just been handed a little bowl of uh, savory snacks. And I'm gonna chill out for a minute, have a drink, and then get back on exploring this place. I don't know about a day pass. It's been more of a daytime work for me, but these lot, these lot are chilling. They're really enjoying themselves. Right then, here goes, it's time for lunch. Can you believe it? We've been here since morning. It's now lunchtime and it's time to get in that big buffet restaurant. And I tell you what, I was blown away the minute I walked in. Look at this place, it is decorated so nice and it's super bright and modern. Now, if you're wondering why there's loads of bunnies around, it was Easter week. So they were celebrating a little bit of Easter, but you've got so many things on offer. All your fresh salads, your cheeses, there is so much to choose from. And again, look at the presentation the h10 never lets you down you can sit inside here or you can head yourself outside onto this beautiful terrace and overlook the pool now i've stopped in h10 hotels before and i like the little platters that they put together so of course i grabbed a couple of these and again this is all included on your day pass i had to try a bit of salmon and a little bit of gazpacho let's go check it out right then lunch at the h10 costa adeki palace lovely lady came over served us drinks and I'll tell you what, it's a bottle of posh water all the way. And this is all included as well in your day pass. So not only you've got that big pool bar with everything you could possibly imagine, but then you've got lunch here. I tell you, if you want to eat and drink yourself stupid for the day, you can certainly here. And the food, I'll tell you what, the quality. So I've started with a bit of caspaccio um, straight off. I like these little plates that they sort of make up and a bit of fresh salmon. I am certainly making the most of it with the prime stuff. I'm not silly, I know how to play the buffet. That is how you do it. You go for the good stuff first. Alfie's gone for anything that looks yellow, as always. Chips, croquettes, and sausage rolls. And Jack walked up there, swerved all the salad, and went straight to the pastries and the good stuff as well. So come on, let's get stuck in. Mrs. Travelon's gone to get hers. I'll show you what she has when she gets back. I wonder if she's pigged out or not. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> we'll see what she comes back as. Right, so gazpacho with some beautiful parmesan cheese as well. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. That is so fresh and she's back. Let's check what she's got. Mrs. Travelon, you're usually opposite me, but you've sat next to me today, I don't know why. But look at that plate. So I've got lots of different cheeses, look. I've got oh, a bit of mackerel. And you've gone for the gazpacho as well? No, that's... Um... No, over there, look. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. see? I'll tell you what, she thinks she's queen of Sheba, this one, all-inclusive. Right then, I'm straight in with this salmon as well, look. Squirt a bit of lemon over the top. Fresh salmon. Only the best for me to travel on. Only the best. Ooh, that is so fresh. Mm. Wow. I'll tell you what, I call these three-bite dishes because literally two and three. They're gone. That was beautiful. So fresh. What next? There was so much hot food on offer as well. Everything from pastries, little picky bits. You've got your meat and your veg. There was so much to choose from. And again, if you don't want to eat in this restaurant, you can go to the pool bar because the food there is just as good. But this place, I tell you what, you're definitely going to get a selection of everything. And that's exactly what I grabbed. Right then, plate number two. We've stuck with the starters. You like have a starter, then a starter, don't you? It's like two starters, maybe even three, then your main course, then your dessert, then your second dessert, if you're anything like me, at an all-inclusive buffet. You gotta get in there, ain't you? Look, so, look at that, a selection of absolutely everything. Because I'm lactose intolerant, I've gone for a selection of cheeses as well, just for you to show you what it's like. Of course, we've got canary and potatoes. I couldn't go without trying the canary and potatoes, could I, with the fresh mojo. Excuse fingers, but it's beautiful. I've got some like little pizza bites, um, sort of sausage rolls, and also a chicken falafel. Never tried one of them before, so I'm gonna start with the chicken falafel. That is really nice, there you go. Chicken falafel. Now the kids got excited when they saw the sausage rolls. I do apologize for using my hands here. I know I'm in a posh hotel, but this is like finger food really for me, look. Mm, that is beautiful. So I've got loads of cheeses as well, a little bit of feta with some plum, plum jam. Check that out. Got a little concoction there and I also got a little bit of salad as well, just to keep me healthy. Look at Mrs. Travelon on plate two. 
got she's going to town with a bit of pork. Lots of veg, a bit of pork, and uh, some meatball sauce. Bloody hell, and a glass of wine as well. I'll tell you what, she could get used to this. Oh, I love it. Off to the fresh counter and Jose was the show chef here at the H10 Costa Adeki and you had loads of fish on offer, different vegetables and I loved this pasta station as well where you could choose fresh pasta and a selection of different sauces as well and watch it be made right in front of you. I really do love this about hotels. Right, right, I'm back. Plate number three. We've got all the fresh pasta. I've added a couple of meatballs on there and some pork as well. I think this has got to be the last plate before we dive into dessert. So let's try this pasta, because that was uh, made fresh from Jose. And he was a nice guy. Showed me all the skills. I'm going to have to try that in the travel on kitchen, aren't I, next time? Mmm. Mmm. That is beautiful. Let me give Mrs. Travel on some. Try that. Mmm, that's really good. That is lovely. Fresh pasta. Thank you, Jose. That was lovely. And he's got fresh fish up there as well. Love the, I love the fresh show cooking in hotels. Let's try this pork. See, this is pork in some kind of like sauce. Mm. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Three plates down. Dessert next. If I can stuff it in. These two have probably finished all the chocolate cake that is going in this place. I don't know if there'll be any left. Right, if you're trying to eat healthy, please switch off or close your eyes or fast forward because look at the desserts here. The cakes are absolutely unbelievable. Cream, chocolate, you name it. They had absolutely everything and ice cream as well. You could even have ice cream in a cone. Alfie was over the moon with that. You can, of course, keep it healthy with a bit of fruit and yogurt, but no way was I gonna do that. I was straight for the ice cream and the cakes, and I had a sort of bowl and a plate. Well, <laughs> let's have a look at what I had for dessert. Guess who's back? Yes, it's me, and yes, I'm on dessert, look. Pistachio ice cream, recommended by Mrs. Travelon. Cake, recommended by Mrs. Travelon. And something else that just looked nice, so I whacked it on the plate. Let's get this down, us before I pass out. Right, we're gonna go for that cake that Mrs. Travelon says was nice, look. Check that out, it looks like a cheesecake. Wow, it's like a cheesecake with chocolate brownie on top. Gosh, that is heaven. You're not wrong there. That is beautiful. Chocolate cake, the one that Alfie had about six pieces of. Very nice, Alfie. I'll tell you what, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I've got another little sponge cake. And then this was the one that I fancied, look. It's like a really creamy sort of sponge. Mm. That is good. For someone that's lactose intolerant, I'll tell you what, power on through it just for you guys. I will feel terrible in about an hour. And the pistachio ice cream. Oh, that is really nice. That's really fresh. Mmm. After a massive meal, that is really, really nice. So I'm gonna get this down, mate. Then we're gonna go and chill around the pool. We're gonna go to the heated pool, because there's a heated pool here. Um, and we're gonna see what else we can do. I mean, we're here till six o'clock. The day passes from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. So you literally have all day, so you can make the most of it. Little tip for you though, and this is Mr. Travel on tip if you get in the day pass. Now you are gonna get given a band, okay? This is not what the staff at the hotel understand as all inclusive, which is what we were sort of confused at. We were like, yeah, we've got a band, we've got a band. This is for the adults only, just so that you can purchase alcohol, so they know that you, um, you're old enough to drink. So the kids haven't got a band. This is what you need, this. So they give you one of these, um, which says all inclusive on and has your details of how many people. So keep that with you. Don't chuck it away, keep it in your pocket. Don't go swimming in it. You're gonna need it for the day while you're here. This is what you show all the staff so that they know that you're all inclusive. This doesn't really mean much other than you're old enough to have a few drinks. There you go, top tip. So this is the life. Sat around the pool, sun is shining. I've got a beautiful view, let me show you. 
look at that beautiful view there's also a lovely little place to sit there it's gorgeous mrs travel on's got a coffee just got a fanta and we're just sitting here and relaxing it's a shame we haven't got a room to show you i'd love to go and have a little sneaky peek in a room maybe i can find someone uh, Why don't you just go and ask the reception? What, you reckon if I ask, I'll let me? Definitely. Okay, Mrs. Travelon says I should go and ask at reception if I can see a room. So, why not? She's right. I may as well go and see if they'll just let me have a little nose at a room. I'll tell them who I am and maybe they'll let me have a look. Come on, let's go and see. So I went off to reception to ask if I could see a room. By this time, they knew I was filming something because I was wandering around all day with a camera. And guess what? They give me a card and said, go and have a look at that room and you can show all your viewers what it's all about. Wow, look at this. Where should we start? I think bathroom first. Let's get this light on. Wow, this is beautiful. So this is one of the prestige rooms, which is sort of a rooftop view. We are going to have a look at the view in a minute. I absolutely love this bathroom. Look at this, super modern, super, super clean as well. Look at it, it's just sparkling. And I love the H10 bits that they give you. Look, everything you could possibly need in one little pot. And of course, all your hand wash and things like that. Ladies, you won't be disappointed. There is a hair dryer. And gentlemen, well, if you want to have a shave, you've got a little shaving mirror. But let's have a look at the shower. Beautiful walk-in shower here. Again, with all your soaps from the H10. Look at that little sort of rainfall shower as well. It's just sparkling, isn't it? Look at that. Look at the glow coming off them tiles. Right, let's have a little look through here. You've got a little seat or somewhere for your luggage here. Big mirror, ready for those evenings out down at the restaurant for your missus travel on to make sure she looks okay. And your tea and coffee making facilities with Nespresso. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, can you? Right, now to the best bit, look at that bed. That looks super, super comfortable. And, well, I know a lot of you don't like watching TV while you're on holiday, but I do. And that is a beautiful big TV look. And I would certainly be chilling in there after a full day of adventuring around Tenerife and just watching a little bit of telly and just completely relaxing. Lovely little tables here at the side and wardrobes. Let's have a little look. Plenty of space in here, look. Plenty of space in the wardrobes. And again, brand spanking new. Even the wardrobes look a shiny. <laughs> this place is beautiful. On the other side, you've got a place to store all your bits and bobs. You've got a safe as well. And look at that, look. You've even got a shoe shine sponge. There you go, this is class. Fully air conditioned as well, especially in the summer months. You're gonna need that here in Tenerife. Or keep you cool while you're either lying in bed, sitting in one of these beautiful, big, comfy chairs, look like the king of the castle. Or if you've got work to do, which I know a lot of people have sort of emails to catch up on and stuff where you've got a little desk there or a little vanity area for your missus travel on to get ready. You know us men, we don't need that, do we? Now look at this as well. You get some cookies, complimentary cookies while you're in here. I'll tell you what, I wish I was staying here. I'd be diving straight into the complimentary cookies. In fact, I'd take them straight out here and see what the views are like. Come on, let's go and have a look. So here we go. Let's have a look at the views out on here. Well, we've got a lovely terrace area with two really comfortable chairs. None of your plastic chairs here at the H10, no chance. Little place for your washing there. And uh, well, did somebody say sea view? <laughs> well, there you go, a sea view. A little bit cloudy today here in Tenerife, but normally the sun is shining. And look at that view. This is super, super peaceful. I tell you what, it's beautiful. Over this side, you've got mountain views. Behind you, you've got the sea view. I tell you what, <laughs> I'm only on a day pass here, but <laughs> I fancy coming back and having a little nap. I might just keep that key card, what do you think? So there you go. It was worth me asking, wasn't it, if I could see a room, and I hope you've enjoyed that. A little room tour of the H10 Costa Adeki Palace. 
if you're going to be stopping here this is a privileged rooftop room I tell you comfort class and everything you'd expect from h10 i really do love the brand h10 everywhere i go and every time i see a h10 i am literally blown away with the standards and the quality this is only a four star hotel well it's a four star with a little bit extra should we call it four star plus i reckon that's what we'll call it it's absolutely beautiful if you are staying here i hope you have a magical time um, now let's get back down and see more of this beautiful hotel because i tell you what I'm only here for a day, so I'm going to make the most of it. Wow. It was coming to almost the end of the day. That didn't stop Mrs. Travelon. Guess what she was doing? Ordering more food and drinks and even ordering a couple of things to take home as well. I tell you what, she has really made the most of the day pass here at the H10. I went upstairs to that beautiful reception area to sit down, relax, and to tell you my final thoughts on a day pass at the H10 Costa Adeki Palace. Let's find out. So what about that? Mrs. Travelon was right, wasn't she? If you don't ask, you don't get. I even got to take a sneaky peek in a room, and I'll tell you what, absolutely beautiful. So if you are stopping at this hotel, I hope I've given you an idea of what it's going to be like. I'll tell you what, you're going to be eating and drinking a lot because the food and the drink is fantastic. But like I said, we did the day pass um, and it's just something completely different. Now, I didn't know that quite a few of the H10 hotels do this day pass, including the Rubicon Palace in Lanzarote, which I did not know that one at all. That one, I have to go and try. So if H10's watching, I need to come and do a video at the H10 Rubicon Palace. Let me know and I'll be there. But honestly, it was an experience. Now we booked a self-catering apartment here um, because we're sort of used to sort of the Canary Islands. And you know me, I'm tight as hell. I like to cook my own food and stuff like that. I'm proper tight, but it does give you the opportunity to, to have one two days, try some different hotels and just spend a day around the pool. We've had a lovely relaxing day, just literally unwound everything. And it's also good if you want to come up here because we went off to have a look around the um, big designer label shopping center here in Adeki. And it's good to do that. If you want to come sort of this way and you actually want to spend a full day in this area, well, you can nip out for an hour, go and get all your shopping in come back have something to eat have something to drink it's open from 10 o'clock until six o'clock so the last sort of orders are six o'clock you can also get food to take away as well so play your cards right you might be able to get a little burger or something to eat on the way home <laughs> that's definitely one thing that we're gonna do mrs travelon's down there ordering it right now um, but no it, the food was fantastic the service was immense and like I said, it's just to give you that sort of hotel feel. Um, and a day pass is perfect. It might be also that you've got a very late flight. Um, and this could be an ideal opportunity for you. If you've got a really late flight and you have to check out of wherever you are at 12 or something like that, well, you could come here um, and spend the day here around the pool, the shower facilities and stuff. I'm sure they'd let you put your luggage in. And then you get an extra day, don't you? You get an extra day's holiday around this beautiful hotel. But everything about this hotel just screams glamour and this whole area just screams glamour as well. So it's certainly worthwhile doing. Price-wise at the moment, and this is March 2024, the prices may have changed if you're watching this video a little bit later on or during the summer. So do check with H10 and do check on their website. But it's 75 euros per adult and half price for kids. Now, of course, Jack's an adult now, so we have to pay for three adults and one child. But I mean, look, it was an experience. I did it for the video more than anything, but I really enjoyed it. Mrs. Travelon has been in her element. I'll tell you what, she's not moved from the sunbed. The only time she's actually moved is to get herself another cup of coffee, a glass of wine, or a mojito. That is it. She has had the time of her life. Me and Jack nipped out and had a look at the shopping center. Alfie was having a little swim around and they also went in the heated pool as well. So you can use that, um, which was nice because there was a few clouds out today. It sort of came and went. Um, but all in all, we've had a great little family day here and it's been well worth it. 
I hope that's given you a new idea of something to do while you're on holiday, a hotel day pass. Well, it certainly gives you the opportunity to have a little sneaky peek and have a nose around, doesn't it? And fill your face, have some drinks, relax, enjoy the pool and enjoy all the facilities. Also, if you're stopping in this hotel, well, it's a H10, so you're definitely gonna have a great holiday anyway, but I hope I've managed to show you a few things around. And of course, you got to see a room. So if you are stopping here, I hope you have an amazing holiday. I'm sure you will, because we've done one day, and I tell you what, I could do with a couple more of these. So from me, Mr. Travelon, it's goodbye. I'm gonna chill out here in reception, wait for Mrs. Travelon, and then we're gonna head home and probably go to sleep. I'll see you later. Whatever you're doing, have a great day. And remember, if you're coming on holiday, you're here for a good time, not a long time. Make sure to research and look at all the things that there are to do when you come here, and then you'll be able to do them, and you won't be stressing and trying to organize things while you're here. And that is what Mr. Travelon's here for, and that's what our website's for, www.travelon.world. Get booking your excursions in advance, save time, save money, save stress. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye.